and she decided to stay in L.A. And her stand up comedian, her stand up career started here a little over a year ago. She's here for you right now with another new minute. It's Kimberly Kong. Ben, so take a check yourself before you wreck yourself. Big dicks in your ass is bad for your hair. What's up, guys? How are you? <clears throat> I am in a long distance relationship. I don't know if anybody has ever been in one of those, but they're super difficult. They're really hard. Um, it's really hard because um, I live in California and my boyfriend lives all the way in my imagination. <laughs> so it's like not a real thing. Um, I can't, I don't think I can be in a relationship because I'm a comedian. It's really hard. So I got online the other day and I almost bought a vibrator on Groupon. <laughs> but um, my mom always says that you get what you pay for. So I didn't want to get half off for half off. <laughs> Um, it was really sad, though, because I got on eBay, and I started bidding on a vibrator. I was like, let's give this a try. Um, and there's no more pathetic feeling than lose, being outbid by a fake penis. <laughs> like, I just can't even buy a used fake one online. The, the universe won't give me that. <laughs> it's weird when girls fight over men, too, you know? Because there's so many dicks in the... <laughs> She's been here before. Yeah. I love that. I love that half off, half off, and the. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't use Groupon though. You know, maybe. It's true. There was vibrators half off on Groupon last wow. week. I missed it. <laughs> I don't. That's probably better. It. It's probably better. Yeah. It's perfect. It's part of the setup anyway. The Groupon part and the half off and. And then the outbid for the dildo, that just sounds so real and funny and, and depressing. Yeah. It's so sad. That yeah. is true. I was the one selling the dildo, so I know that's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck yeah. And then what, what were you talking about there at the end? You were, you were going to finish that. There's so oh, many girls. Well, I just started this whole new bit about I don't understand why women fight over men because there's just like so many dicks. Like I could fit a dick into every crevice and there's still like 40 dicks in the comedy store tonight. You know, like, there's so many dicks in the world, no one should ever fight over one. Because hmm. chances are it's not going to be that great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, bye. You should run for the president of women. <laughs> I love that. I like that platform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's enough dicks for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and more. <laughs> there's a dick, there's a dick, there's a dick. I'd like your vote at the polls November 14th. Well, when I was working on that, I was like looking up how many men there are. I wanted percentages of dicks. So I was getting really into that one. It was too much for tonight. Did you end up at a uh, pie chart of dick at <laughs> one point? <laughs> I, was I was splitting them up into nationalities. Wow. Fuck yeah. You really there's enough for everybody. And there more. <laughs> I think Indian there's actually dicks, more Asian women. Dicks, white dicks, black dicks. We all come together. <laughs> <laughs> A I world mean. fair. I can really rally behind this. <laughs> Isn't there more women than guys in the population? Isn't that the. Yeah, I think so, yeah. At the University of Florida, there is. Whoa. Oh, okay. There's like six girls to every guy. Wow. That's where the dick fights. Break that's out. where that's. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Yeah. There are not enough dicks. Never mind. <laughs> uh, that's so great. Uh, again, for some weird reason, I'm going to steal my favorite question that I've ever heard asked on, uh, on this show. And since I've never asked you this, I'm going to do it. What scares you, Kim? Uh, what scares I'm going to call me? it from now on, by the way, every episode. I'm going to use this, Ron, and I'm going to call it the Funches question. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm really scared of the dark. That's like being one. by myself in the dark. <laughs> also the comedy store a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, those two. Yeah, you keep coming back. I keep coming. I don't know what it is. That's what the scary part is. I can't stop. Mm -hmm. So creepy. Okay, well. That, that's, <laughs> how, that's how it is. <laughs> Uh, I just <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun stuff. I like your Thank style, you. Kim. Anything else for Kim, guys? That's funny. Thank you're, you. You're good at comedy. Good Keep good it job. up. Thank you. Kimberly Congdon is Thanks. at Kimberly Congdon on Twitter. She did Roast Battle here, a live show that takes place here on Tuesdays and annihilated a couple weeks ago.